So I managed to get a hold of another Kanto Power Box, this time by happening to find some football cards that are coveted by football card resellers or maybe just football card fans. I'm not really sure. I'm not a sports person. Um, I found four boxes of them at Target, so I grabbed them because I'd heard a wonderful little tip that if you happen to find this particular box, the Panini Prism, um, you can get the card scalpers to trade with you. Um, and I did. The, I traded those four boxes, which retailed for 20 a piece, for a Kanto Power and a Charizard Evolutions ETB, as well as a Blastoise Evolutions ETB. So I kind of made out on that trade. Um, so I'm going to open this box now because I got lucky, I think. <laughs> Regardless, here we go. Okay. So this box, if you weren't aware already, comes with 10 Evolutions packs, uh, two EX cards of Pidgeot, and a Dragonite, as well as a giant Dragonite card. Here is the code card for those Dragonite and Pidgeot GX cards. Um, I will set these to the side and begin opening and seeing what cool things that we can get from the set. Um, Hoping for some GX cards, that'd be really cool. That would, or maybe it's the mega cards. Either way, full art. Actually, I kind of felt that one and it kind of feels like full art, so I cheated a little bit. They're super textured in this set. Maintenance, um, a Seeker Rare Executor, that's cool. Drowsy, Electabuzz, they have a couple Secret Rares. Um, a Pikachu one. So that's an energy and a Brock's grit. Neat. That's super textured. I like that. Um, there are some secret rares with this like cute art on it. They have surfing Pikachu, flying Pikachu, and the executor, this doe duo being chased by a devil, as well as a team rocket. The dog's going crazy over there. Excuse her weird moans. She makes bizarre sounds. One, two, three. That time I didn't feel it. Okay. Choke. Super Potion. Machop. Voltorb. Diglett. Caterpie. Poliwag. Reverse Hollow Poliwhirl. Hey, and a Mewtwo EX. Neat. That's awesome. I'll take it. I like Mewtwo a lot. I actually am kind of sad that this guy didn't have the Mewtwo box. Um, that's the one I was looking for because I've previously opened one of these, but um, beggars can't be choosers, so I hopped on the chance. Um, I say I lucked out. I know a lot of people are like, eh, on this set, but I can't find this set anywhere in Arcanine. Um, so I get excited when I can find it because it's pretty nostalgic, um, which I feel like is why most people are getting it. And I think there's some really cool cards in it, so... It's just unfortunate it's become, like I know it was printed a lot. Oh, there we go, Surfing Pikachu. So that's what that looks like. Looking for the flying one. I think I have Surfing Pikachu. The duo, Pikachu, Machop, Energy, and a Dugong. Um, I don't know, I think it's just kind of a fun set. I know collectors that have been doing it for years are like, please, this was just a filler set for a long time. Not many people liked it. Um, I kind of stopped actively. Oh my god, she's insane. I stopped actively collecting 
probably after the generations. There's Flying Pikachu. Nice. I needed that one. Um, I don't know why I stopped. I just kind of did. Tangela and a Mega Pidgeot EX. Cool. I like his hair. She knows that I'm talking and I'm not talking to her, so how dare I? She's rolling around on the guest couch behind us, making sounds. Um, for no reason. And she hasn't, she barks a fair amount at parks and stuff, but like, she's just a vocal dog in terms of groaning and making bizarre noises. Um, I will never understand. Like, I've never had a dog or met a dog as utterly talkative as she is. Okay. So far I've been pretty excited with, like, the stuff I've gotten. It's not the most exciting, but... Oh, another one. Stasis determination. Maybe they're not so secret, rare after all. Charmander and a dugong. Okay. The other box set I had didn't have any of the, you know, full arts. So that's exciting that I'm actually getting some full arts. I did open. A nine tail. It, it, that box just wasn't as good, actually, now that I think about it. I was confusing it with the Johto Legends, which also has um, Evolutions packs, and I got some really cool um, hollows and stuff from there, such as like a Gyarados and a. Uh, what was the other one? A Mew. Yeah, and the Mew is, is super cute. I'm excited by that. Okay, second to last pack. What secrets will it hold? Hopefully some cool ones. Another Executor. I see that that is more of a common of the secret rares. Sandshrew, and Electrode. It's just Electrodes and Dugongs for me today. One, two, three. Kakuna, Full Heal, Machoke, Ponyta, Magnemite, Pikachu, that big Chungus. I love him. Weedle, Ghastly, and a Mega Blastoise EX. Cool. So, I don't know, I'm great at separating. Let's see. We got some cool stuff, in my opinion at least, but maybe I'm easy to please. Mega Pidgeot EX. Well, sorry for that. A Mega Blastoise EX. A full art Mewtwo EX, which looks really good. It's a little high on the top, but in really nice condition regardless. A Brock's Grit, and the texture on this, actually on both of these, is like pretty intense. This one looks good. Do like Brock. I would love to get the Misty, so maybe in one of the ETBs. But, oh, can't forget about these little secret rares. There's this. I got three of these. I don't, does he have a binky? I'm unsure. Oh my God, my dog's losing her mind now. A flying Pikachu and a surfing Pikachu. So how fun. I would say we got nine hits, but maybe I'm being generous. But either way, um, there you have it. If you can find them, they retail for 40 bucks. Try not to feed the scalpers and pay more than that. Or, hey, maybe trade them some football or basketball cards, because apparently that's their hot ticket item. Regardless, good luck and happy hunting, as always.